Welcome to Level Up Cartooning. Today we're going to add to a new separate playlist I'm working on that's a little more instructional in nature. Just tips and thoughts I've picked up in my 30 some odd years as a cartoonist, author, illustrator. I'm going to call it the Level Up Cartooning Toolbox, which means you're going to have to get a new intro animation made for it. I'll make a note of that. Anyway, we're going to talk about hands today, but being that hands are at the top of most people's lists of hardest things to draw and least favorite things to practice, I want this hand lesson to be bite-sized and simple. In other words, painless. All you'll need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. Easy peasy, right? Before we get started, make sure you hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about hands. In this lesson, we're going to focus on the simplest style of cartoon hands, the four-fingered hand, or the three fingers and a thumb. Many, if not most, of today's most popular cartoons use this style, which is all about expression and gesture, not realism. Mickey Mouse, Looney Tunes, SpongeBob, The Simpsons, Flintstones, Adventure Time, Gravity Falls, just to name a few, but there are so many more. So what I'm going to do is give you a few poses to try for our four-fingered hands, or three fingers and a thumb, starting with a closed hand. I'm going to do both left and right here, okay? So let's draw some hands. Okay, so there is a closed four-fingered hand. As you can see, the proportions for this type of hand are half palm, half fingers. In a closed hand, note that the thumb stops just after the divide between the palm and the fingers. Also note that the tip of that thumb sort of curls away from the rest of the hand. All right, so now let's try the same two hands, but with the fingers open. That means the same proportions, the same angle, but just open up those hands, stretching those fingers a bit. All right, so let's give that a try. There you have it, open four-fingered hands. I want you to notice, among other things, how the tips of the fingers are slightly bigger than human fingers. Also notice how in these simplified, exaggerated hands, the fingers curve in a way to sort of give the hand energy and highlight the nature of the hand gesture, which is also different than an actual real hand. All right, so as I said at the beginning, we want to keep these lessons short and simple. So we'll do one more quick segment for those looking to really level up their hand drawing. This time, we'll do one hand pointing and the other hand gesturing, okay? Let's see how that goes.
Okay, so that wasn't too painful, was it? Listen, the only way to learn how to draw something is to just jump right in. If you've never tried some of these hand poses before, you can't expect to have drawn them perfectly. Don't let the fact that the hands are challenging take the fun out of it. Enjoy and embrace the challenge. That's what it's all about. I've always said messing up is the first step in being really good at something. Someone just pointed out to me that Jake from Adventure Time also said that, so cool, it works for me. So go mess up. I want to promise you, each time you draw any of these hand poses, they're going to get a little easier, and you're going to get a little better. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. So I want to see your four-fingered hand poses. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram, and don't forget to include the hashtag LevelUpCartooning. I hope this hand lesson wasn't too painful. I sincerely hope you got something out of it. Remember to subscribe so you won't miss any of the next Level Up cartooning lessons, as well as the characters. Drawings. Thanks for joining me, and until next time, keep drawing, my friends.